Welcome back. We are here on eToro looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, January 12, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to this full video, our signal service and our online trade and courses. So the link is down below. You're very welcome. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have rallied the last three days and we are heading towards the 50 moving average. We have pulled back a little bit, but it is probably very likely that we'll head towards the 50 moving average. So 91.27, that is probably where we are heading at this point. Um, this has made a lot of problems for the commodity and so on. So most of them have been rallying significantly uh, due to the fact that the US dollar has depreciated. And now when it starts to appreciate, um, they basically, for example, oil, uh, copper and gold and so on, all of them have struggled significantly uh, today. The same goes for indices, uh, um, stocks and so on and so on. So if this start, continues to, to, um, to appreciate, then we'll see a continuation of a fall in, for example, commodities, precious metals, indices, and so on. So pay attention to the US dollar index. So we'll start by looking at oil. So oil um, are, is trading at the moment at the 52.15. We broke down all the way down to 51.62. And uh, yes, at the moment we are here. So we are fairly overextended we have been overextended for quite some time you can see that we're trading way above uh, the fibonacci not the fibonacci retracement we are trading way above the bollinger bands and usually what happens here is that you pull back towards the middle of the bollinger band so expect the fall here towards the 48.80 um, at least down to 50 we should see a fall before going higher um, for example, here we were outside a little bit outside of the bullish band. We fell all the way down to 1646. Uh, same goes for here, same goes for here, and same goes for basically over here when we touch the top of the bullish band. So it has been it has been historically when you go outside of the bullish band, it basically pulls back significantly. The best thing example is down here when we went outside of the bottom and then made this enormous rally to the upside all the way from uh, 33 up to 52 dollars within a span of just two well a big month one and a half month so at this point um pullbacks are buying opportunities a pullback towards the the middle here the bullinger band that is basically your entry point if you see that it turns around technical indicators are fairly mixed macd is bullish the stochastic is crossing the signal line uh, sorry cci is turning around and we are overbought. So pay attention, overbought conditions, plus we're above the uh, Bollinger Band. That is not a good indication. This is um, very, very much ready to fall, especially also when the US dollar starts uh, appreciating that it's going to work against uh, the oil market. So let's look at that gas. So We've had a massive rally at the end of the session. We are at the 50 moving average at this point. Um, we are trading just at the 50 moving average, so we pulled back a little bit. We're also on the edge of the, the Bollinger Band here. So you can see that the technical indicators are all turning around. They've become very bullish at this point. If we start trading above the 50 moving average, then that is a very encouraging sign. That means that we are going to head towards uh, the tree. And uh, if we break that, then we are going even higher. So this was fairly surprised, uh, surprising because uh, weather conditions have not been as cold as expected. And usually that is what drives this market. But we are in a little bit of limbo here. We need to break the 50 in order to go higher. If we get rejected here, that basically means that we go back to the middle of the Bollinger Band, which are down 20 exponential moving average. And if that breaks, we'll head towards the bottom here at the just above the 200 moving average. So either way, there's technically no reason to enter this market whatsoever at this point. So let's look at copper. So 
Copper has made a massive move to the downside, down roughly uh, 3%. And uh, we haven't seen uh, this kind of fall in the copper market uh, basically since down here. It was basically in the end of September where we had this major fall outside of the Bollinger Band. And then we had a nice rally to the upside. Basically, we've been rallying ever since. But this is very interesting. We basically broken the 20 exponential. We're um, heading towards the bottom of the Bollinger Band, which is 3.46. Technical indicators are all turning around. There's a lot of room to the downside. And yes, we may actually go towards the bottom here, even the 50 moving average. So that is a very a good buying opportunity for uh, this um, for copper. So see how far this goes. If we have a pullback from here, then it's also possible to head that it will head back towards these highs at 3.729. But I would pay attention to the US dollar. What happens there will have a grave impact on what happens here in the copper market. So let's look at gold. So we continue our fall. We went all the way to the bottom here at 1816. It's basically the bottom of the Bollinger Band. Uh, technical indicators are still very negative. All of them, there's still a room to the downside. And we are technically playing with fire at this point. Uh, due to the fact that if we start trending, uh, trading underneath the 200 moving average, then that opens the door to... Uh, 1750 and then it opens the door to much 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 lower levels so this is a very varying sign for gold if US dollars continues to appreciate that will basically hammer this even further so we did um, break down all the way down to 1816 or 1815 and then pull back above the 200 moving average um, so we'll see what happens with we can look at the horror chart still very negative one hour chart also very negative so there is not a lot of encouragement that we are going to see a massive rally in this market so pay attention if we fall below the 200 moving average then we are most likely going much lower and if we stay here and don't manage to break below the 200 moving average that may uh, signal that we are going to go higher this could also be that's probably the last thing I was going to say about that. So just pay attention to what basically happens here. So let's look at silver. So silver, very um, similar here. We have you know, four consecutive days of basically uh, decline in the silver market. We're trading at roughly at 24.88 at this current stage, just above the... 50 moving average, we basically broke down nearly all the way down to the, uh, the lower part of the Bollinger Band. Technical indicators are dreadful for, for silver. So if we start trading below the 50 moving average, that opens the door to these previous lows here. That's a roughly 22.24 and also the 200 moving average, which is 21.81. So if we don't manage to break the 50 moving average, then we may have another turn to the upside. But this just does not look very good. So um, it is going to be very interesting what basically happens here. The same goes for, for example, the US dollar index. If it starts appreciating, that will also start hammering this market. So let's look at platinum. So here, very similar thing. Basically, basically, commodities and precious metal were just a hammer today, all of them. So we have dropped from the highs here of uh, 11.28 uh, all the way down to uh, 10.05. And at the current stage, we are trading at 10.31. Um, technical indicators are dreadful for platinum, so we may have another run at the 50 moving average if that holds. And then we, it may turn around here, but but similar thing. Um, what happens to the US dollar will probably affect this uh, massively, and because and, and there just isn't the demand out there. Coronavirus still is hammering the world economy, so demand for most commodities and precious metals is just not the 
same as prior to the coronavirus. But 50 moving average, if it is uh, supportive, then a stop loss run underneath and the target of these highs, that is probably the best trade you can do here. So, Palium. So, same thing. We are trading at the we're trading at the highs here, of roughly 25.20, and the very lows of uh, uh, 21.82. And at this current stage, we're right in the middle. So there's nothing really happening here. If we break all the way down to the bottom, then it's a buy. If we break all the way to the top, then it's a sell. And we have been doing this for technically forever. And right in the middle, we, at the moment, we are basically in the middle. So I would not. I would not trade this whatsoever. I would wait until we get to one of these extreme um, highs or very lows in order to enter this market. So let's look at aluminium. So we have gone a little bit closer to the 50 moving average. We are, this is getting really interesting here for aluminium. Uh, technical indicators are still very bearish. We are at uh, 49, so there's a lot of room to the downside. If we manage to get down to these previous lows here, where we found major resistance, that's 1979. It's just about the 50 moving average. That is most likely where we are going to bounce in this market. So we went outside of the Bollinger Band here and then just broke down completely towards the 50 moving average. But a turnaround here, then a stop loss right underneath the 50 moving average with a target of the top of the Bollinger Band at 2056. That is basically the uh, trade that I'm looking for in this market. So let's look at nickel. And as you can see, we have also fallen in this market. We found support here at the 20 exponential. However, technical indicators are looking dreadful. So this is a very clear sign that we are most likely going to go all the way down to the bottom of the Bollinger Band for we before we basically turn around in this market and that is uh that is something that we haven't been able to do that trade since all the way back here this was back in the beginning of november and also in the beginning of october and as you can see those have been really profitable trades so a fall towards the bottom of the bullish band just above the 50 moving average should be enormous amount of support stop loss right underneath and the target of these highs um yes that is basically it. So let's look at sugar. So sugar market has turned around. We have found support here just above the 50, uh, the 20 exponential moving average. We went outside here, broke down really uh, aggressively, and now we are turning around. I don't think that this is going to be where we're just going to turn around all of a sudden. We're going to spend some time here um spending a bit and then we're going higher or probably going lower technical indicators for this are more negative than they are positive so um yes at this current point if we rally stop loss are underneath the 20 exponential and a target of these previous highs that is basically the trade otherwise uh fall further to break down below the 20 exponential opens the door to the 50 Break below the 50 opens the door to the very lows here and well i don't think that we're going to go that low this is going to be enormous amount of support underneath so that is probably not going to happen so let's look at cotton so as you see we broke down quite significantly here this was not the breakdown what i was looking for I think that we're going to see a breakdown similar to this and where we're going to stay for like one or two days and then during this and then we're going to go higher. So this was a breakdown towards uh, 0 0.78, uh, uh, 48, but we rallied again straight away. Technical indicators are, well, we are overbought. We were overextended, so a fall back towards the fifth, uh, 20 exponential, that would have been the best for this market, but we you see, we have created a hammer here. Usually that is a bullish sign, but we'll see how far this basically go. Otherwise, just stay away from this. So let's look at cocoa. 
it is uh, just more of the same. We're actually trending downwards here towards the 20 exponential and the bottom of the Bollinger Band, but we're trading at the highs here of 2.8 and lows of 2.2, and we're basically right in the middle. If we break below the 200 moving average, start trading under there, then opens the door to these lows of 2.2, the four, uh, and if we break below, above the 50 and the 20 exponential, that opens the door to uh, 2.8. Otherwise, stay away from this. So, wheat. So, we have found uh, support here just above the 20 exponential moving average. But I think that we are going to have another run of this. Probably break below the 20 exponential all the way down to the 50. Because if you look at the technical indicators, the MACD is cross, going to cross the signal line. The stochastic has crossed the signal line. CC is, uh, is getting very bearish. And so is the RSI. So, we are, there's a lot of very bearish news for uh, weed, and it's going, most likely going to have another two trading days where we are going to go even lower in this market. And that gives us the opportunity to enter for a buy. So if you have any questions, just write to me on Patreon. Otherwise, good luck and thank you very much.